Hello everyone, and welcome to another Buy Request Friday. Uh, this week's request is... How about an automatic melon farm? Or as automatic as you can get it. This was requested by the Spaz 13 It's got 35 likes. Now, I don't make a lot of farming stuff, so I had to do quite a bit of experimenting, and uh, this is my experimenting ground, and I'll show you what I learnt. Basically, you have your melon seeds, if you place one in the middle, of course it needs to be on uh, ploughed soil, and it has to be within a certain range of water. Now, it will, once it grows, it will, oh, hang on, bone meal will make it grow fast. There's a, a whole bunch of different stages. Uh, where's the bone meal? There we go. There's a whole bunch of different stages. And once it's up to its fullest level, it will place a pumpkin uh, next to it. Now, it can place a pumpkin here, here, here or here. Now keep in mind it will only place one and it cannot place a pumpkin here. Uh, I keep saying pumpkin but I'm talking about melons. Well pumpkins work the same way. It cannot place them on the diagonal. So what we've got here and what you'll notice when the pumpkin grows it's pretty much the same as me placing it. It, it doesn't work any differently. Once it grows it uh, unplows the soil which is a bit of a bummer. So if you have seeds like this or oh, like that and the pumpkin uh, the melon has to grow on ploughed soil so if you have it like that it can grow here and here but not on this other side also one thing uh, I did actually check up on the wiki these need uh, sunlight if they want to grow at any sort of speed um, they are pretty slow but uh, they do grow now the other thing I learnt was that pistons cannot push um, cannot push melons. They instead completely break melons. Oops, that was not far enough. There we go. Uh, they completely break them, so if we power this whole line, bang. It doesn't push them, it just breaks them. So that we can use. I also wondered if uh, you can pull the soil out from underneath um, at the same time. So that's pretty much how my um, my thing works. It pulls the soil out and it crushes them and let's have a look over here. Ta-da! This is what I've made. Um, basically what happens is you pull the lever and it is semi-automatic because you do have to uh, fill it with seeds. Um, but you've got this nice big window here open so you can quickly plow and reseed it. So let's let's speed this up a bit and uh, fill up the watermelon. Uh, yeah, the watermelons. I thought I called them pumpkins again. <laughs> okay, so now we've got this and when we pull the lever, it goes into the second state, pulls out the ground. There's water at the other end which pull which pushes the... Uh, the melons towards you now it is pretty pretty good there is still a handful when you undo it it goes back into the normal state it's uh... there's always a couple sitting out but let's see how many we've got it's uh... pretty efficient i mean it's not as efficient but you can still pick them up just by running beside them So we've got 28 that time. That's actually not a very good uh, a good batch. I want to do that again. Normally I get over 30. Let's see how many we get this time. Oh, this time we're only just going to make 30. Um, now, Minecraft physics or game says that when a melon grows, I'm going to teach you how to make this one, but I just wanted to show you something else as well. Uh, Minecraft physics say that when something grows on tilled soil, it turns, it turns into regular, regular dirt. Now you can watch it happen here. See, 
the soil is uh, changes to regular dirt. But there is currently a bug where at the same instant a tilled soil is um, the same instant that the melon grows this is still tilled for one tick. Now over here and I'll put you a link to the guy who created this um, is it's a bud switch and what that is is a block updating detector. I haven't used these because I think they're kind of buggy and I don't think they're intended to work that way but it does work at the moment nonetheless. Uh, basically when a when anything changes here this switch will update so when I when a melon grows it will uh, automatically pull the dirt down and it will also harvest the melon but if you look at the waste the waste is incredible um, especially over time there's tons of it all over the place now both of these sides work and you'll see I never have oh, sorry did that too fast and now it's broken <laughs> I never have to unless it grows insanely fast which it doesn't uh, I never have to retill the soil which is which is pretty good however again this is relying on a bud switch which I think is a fairly buggy use of the uh, game mechanics but it does work and uh, it's also really large you need this whole area just for two two melons when over here I've got a, a, a smaller area still and uh, I've got all of this all of this much more pumpkin uh, pumpkins whatever <laughs> much more melons and I like melons uh, and a lot less waste as well so anyway I'm gonna get to I'm gonna get to building it if nobody wants to watch this and they just want to leave, well, make sure you leave a comment before you go for next week's BioQuest Friday and uh, give it a like and, and all of that really fun stuff. I really hope this shows up in people's subscriber box because a lot of stuff hasn't. Anyway, let's build this thing. Actually, one thing I quickly want to note is if you place a row of glass here, and this is actually how I had it before, it uh, becomes instantly more... The ones that fall on this side will no longer fall on this side and you'll get more collection. However, when you need to replow the dirt, you have to go up here, which uh, makes a lot of chance of actually hitting one of the other stalks. So that's that's why I left this open, so it's much easier just to run through and plow it. Anyway, let's, um, let's build it. So what do we got here? Too deep. Oh, I only need one there. So let's just make this a little smaller than the other one. Now on the bottom we're going to use sticky pistons. And that's so it can pull the dirt down. And that allows for uh, Well, then we've got a trench here. I'll explain it when I'm when I'm doing it. And actually, this will lift it up. This allows... Just like that. This allows for the dirt to be pulled down. And, uh... Which also allows the top to push the melons down into that trench. To allow for that, um... Reliable... Lots of melons coming down. So we're going to put a block on top. And then we're going to... do that. Now the top one has to be, well it's going to be one tick later and we're going to have the pistons pointing downwards. Keep in mind that the melon row doesn't need light so it's okay that we have pistons right here. just like that. Now it's already pretty much done. Like the basics. We're going to put a block of water uh, over here. Now this is the 
water that's going to um sorry if I say water funny that's because normally as you say water but a lot of people they go what lots of what so I have to <laughs> I have to change my accent quite a bit which is a little frustrating but whatever um where's the hoe Now I'm gonna leave it open like this. Well, oh, actually, I've got to put a block here, or I'm gonna. So this is the inner workings. So what happens is when this is powered, that turns off, which pulls these pistons down which also turns this one on, which pushes these pistons down, and that destroys the melons. The melons go into the trench, and they're pushed all the way down here. Now you can see the distance uh, that the water is good for is only four. So for that reason, you would have seen on the other one, I've got another little thingy. So I just got it sticking on the side. You don't have to do that or... If it's only four long, then that will be good enough. When you plant the seeds, now I'm going to leave it all open so you can see it work. Now when these grow, the melons are going to appear on the middle. I love creative mode. Oops. They're going to appear on the middle like that. And then when we power this, if I did everything right, it will do exactly what we want. Now you can put a timer on this or whatever to um, and then it goes back to normal. You can put a timer on this so you just press a button. I had that before but the timers are usually pretty big and obnoxious so I didn't do it but um, there you go. It's, it's a semi-automatic, it's not fully automatic. For full automatic you have to make something like this which again big waste but uh, certainly works <laughs> it's very cool I'll, I'll put a link in the description uh, for where a tutorial is to make this I didn't make it myself um, well I, I made that but I didn't design it this one this one's all me and uh, I think it works it works pretty well uh, it's easy and super awesome so leave a comment below for next week's request make sure make it a fun one uh, this one was good. I, I really enjoyed doing this one. And, um, yeah, stay tuned for more Jig. Bye.